No More Noise Toronto has performed a buffer analysis on Toronto's highways and arterial roads to understand how many people are impacted by the act of one driver on our highways and on our roads. On top of a map of Toronto wards, we have created a buffer on either side of Toronto's highways and added in 2021 census data to see how many people live within this area. Over 665,000 people live within 750 meters of a highway. And from the measurements that I have taken from people's homes, I've determined that on average, they have 43 noise spikes over 24 hours that are greater than 10 decibels above their average. Then we created a buffer on either side of Toronto's arterial roads to see how many people live there. The dark lines indicate greater density of people than lighter lines. As you can see, over 1.2 million people live within 100 meters of an arterial road, and in 24 hours, they have 142 noise spikes greater than 10 decibels over their average, which is actually worse than highways. When we combine those two buffer zones, we end up with close to 2 million people who are impacted every time a loud car, siren, or racing motorbike go by. And we know there are hundreds of loud vehicles that pass by these residences on a daily basis. The noise spikes that people experience on arterial roads are also present on highways. It's just that in a sound level measurement, they're actually hidden by the high average, except when the highway is closed. I was lucky enough to have meters on a balcony when the highway, when the Gardner Expressway was closed for an event. As all traffic was diverted onto local roads, this revealed the individual noise spikes that those who live on highways hear from traffic when the highway is open. Many of these don't show up in measurements due to the high average. And you can see that average on the right side of the chart once the highway opens at 6 p.m. For over half of Toronto's residents, noise impacts them physically and mentally on a daily basis. And what are those impacts? They can be sleep disturbance, cardiovascular effects, psychophysiological effects, reduced performance, provoked annoyance, changes in social behavior, cognitive impairment in children. When it comes down to it, we have no defense against sound and we cannot close our ears. And also, our body simply can't stop listening. No More Noise Toronto is a grassroots organization advocating for a better sounding Toronto during the noise bylaw reviews. Join us and sign up for our newsletter at nomorenoisetoronto.com. Thanks for listening.